episode is brought to you by the Ladies of Locks of Excellence. They're located at 21935 West Nine Mile Road in Southfield, Michigan, on the corner of Lawster and Nine Mile Road next to Plum Hollow Market. They specialize in sister locks, brother locks, traditional locks, and two-strand twists with certified sister lock stylists to answer all of your questions. Give them a call at 248-304-0000 and take your journey with Locks of Excellence. Hello, this is Tanya. Today's episode is I Earned Mine Through the Fire. A bachelor's degree is a four-year degree but it took me 11 years to earn mine. Why? Life. I started college right after I graduated from high school in 1994, but my first daughter, Ladesia, passed away in November of 1995. She was only four years old. After this tragedy, I was devastated, lost, confused, and crazy for years to come. Add to that, right after losing her, I was homeless and unstable for two years. Throughout all of my ups and downs over the years following, I would take classes when I could. And finally, 11 years later in 2005, I completed my bachelor's degree in business administration. In 2011, I was able to complete my master's degree in social work. Although I did complete this degree in two years, a relatively short period of time, it also was not easy. I had just lost my job, I was going through my second divorce, and I had a very large house to care for all by myself, with no income, and I was a single mother. Now that I have some education and have decided on a career path, I am competing with people who went to better schools, completed school earlier, and have more professional experience. My master's degree is from Wayne State University. And in this field, the University of Michigan is the top school. My degree doesn't hold the same weight and prestige as people who went to Michigan. This is one of those things that's not said out loud, but it is true. In addition, for people who went to college and completed when they were younger, they started much earlier than me or Even if they didn't go to college, they were working in their field. So I also compete for jobs against people who have many years of experience in one company or organization. But let me tell you what I have that they don't. It may have taken me 11 years to complete my first degree as opposed to their four, but mine was earned through the fire. I faced many trials along the way. Whenever I would have to stop school, I would be disappointed all over again. Then as soon as I could, I would take classes again. It was my top priority to go to class and I enjoyed my schoolwork. I always received good grades. School and curriculum were never the problem. The problem was life. It was as though the forces of hell were trying to stop me. I remember leaving school one evening. I had just finished a semester and register for the next. I had two big bags of books. One was the previous semester books that I had just used for finals, and the other was my next semester books that I had bought early to get the least expensive used books. On my way home, I was pulled over by the police because my plates on my car were expired, and I had no car insurance. They impounded my car. My daughter was in daycare at the time, and I was on my way to pick her up. Here I was, standing in the rain, with my daughter's car seat, two extremely heavy bags of books, and my purse. I just stood there and cried. Then, as always, I came up with a plan and kept it moving. That was while I was working on my bachelor's degree. While working on my master's degree, I went through my second divorce. When we broke up, he moved out and I kept the house. We had an agreement for him to help me with the mortgage and for us to share one car that we had at the time. He used the car to move his things out and was supposed to bring the car back in a couple of hours so I could pick up my daughter. 
When he didn't come back as planned, I called and he said, I'm not coming back. I'm keeping the car. I left your shit out of the car on the porch. And by the way, I'm not giving you the money I promised each month either. So, um, <laughs> bye. He chuckled. I laid there and cried for three days. But like Jesus, on the third day I got up, wiped my eyes, and got myself together. Thank God I had money saved. I bought a car the next week, and I still started classes that fall. And I still graduated on time. I also completed my degrees with no parental support. I was actually raised by both my mother and my father. They loved me and provided for me very well when I was growing up. I was a daddy's girl and my father spoiled me. However, he passed away when I was 21 years old. Before he passed, he was very physically sick and was not able to give me support because of my mother. My mother was mentally ill and very dominating. I'm not going to use this episode to get into that entire situation, but it is relevant to my story to mention that my mother was my biggest obstacle as an adult. She did not provide me with any support in college. On the contrary, she did everything in her power to stop me. I could not let her know where I worked or went to school because she would find ways to try to cause me problems there. We had a strained and distant relationship during my adulthood and we did not see each other much. So not only did I not have parental support through college, but the one person that is supposed to be your biggest cheerleader and source of support was my biggest obstacle. As for the world at large, don't even get me started on judgment. I had my first child at the age of 14 judgment. I was a stripper for three years. Judgment. I am divorced twice. Judgment. (laughs) I am not supposed to be standing here today. 41 with a master's degree, a career, a daughter who is a wonderful person, totally independent with my own place, car, and everything else. This was not the outcome that the enemy had planned for me. And it is not what many of the people expected along the way. I'm supposed to be poor, in need, mentally ill, washed up, physically beat down, and watching everyone else who did things the right way succeed. So here I am, still trying to make my own way in life. Now I have some education and a career, but I'm still struggling like hell to make it. I stand next to people every day in my work life and personal life who have more than me, have degrees from better schools, have many more years of experience, have names that pull weight in the community, and then know the right people. But what I have is strength and endurance. I also have life experience they don't have. You don't go through what I've been through and not gain valuable insight and experience. My intuition is very strong. I'm strategic, and Lord knows obstacles do not stop me. On the contrary, obstacles make me work harder. I love the saying, there is more than one way to skin a cat. When I was still in the fire many years ago, I remember my pastor at the time told me something that stuck with me. He said, Tanya, you have to get through this. One day you are going to have a testimony. But right now, all you have is a money. That may sound harsh, but he was a straight shooter and he was right. For my ladies who are currently in the fire, this is your test. Are you going to pass or will you fail? The choice is yours. I advise you to stay strong and stay focused on your goals. Whatever you are working towards is going to take very hard work and you have to fight in order to win. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to give it to you. If you have to stop for a moment and cry, then cry. But when you are done, do not stay there. Get up and keep it moving. I have come to believe that the difference between those who make it and those who do not is the ability to keep enduring and moving forward. 
If you give up, you will never have anything. You will stay stuck in the cycle, stay defeated, and life will keep right on moving. But if you fight, you can get in the game and make it. I'm still fighting, but I have also come a long way. I may not be where I want to be, but thank God I'm not where I used to be. I can hold my head high and say, I earned mine through the fire. Love, Tanya.